Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about tints. We're not going to talk about tinting, well, because we've already done that. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Sure enough, tinting stuff, because I love to say stuff. We're back on my stuff. There is so much to it. We are not talking about the tinting process. We're talking about talking with your customer about tints here. But for more on tinting, the process, go and see the stuff over on the Optician Works website. Ton of stuff there, also including some cool articles. Make sure you watch that video there. That one, really good, walks you through the entire process of tinting. Generally, we think of tints as falling into one of two categories. The cosmetic fashion tint, less than 80% depth of hue or color. And then we have your sunglasses. I reached out a bit on social media and I had the lab ask around and cosmetic fashion tints are on the rise. Like, wow, I couldn't believe how many people said, yeah, we're doing them quite a bit these days in here early 20, 2022. So be aware that, you know, maybe this is a good time to start thinking about learning a little bit more about tints. Generally, tints are broken into one of three categories. A solid looks like that. It's one single color across the entire lens, and it is the same consistent depth of that color. Then you have a gradient, which is a darker at the top, blending down to a lighter or to clear. And then you have the double gradient, which is one color on the top and a different color on the bottom. Hence the double word. We think of our cosmetic or our fashion tints as the other colors, blue, crux, yellow, rose, not your sunglass colors there, are they? I mentioned asking around on social media about cosmetic custom tints, and Marcy from over on OptiBoard posted and sent me these. She did this custom three color job in a very high end frame where her customer actually went out and had their hair dyed to match the tint. I'm going to say this now, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it more often as we progress through this dispensing series. That is the kind of work that makes you an optician. If you do a lot of cosmetic fashion tints, placing an AR on them is not a great idea? I'm really waffling on this one. Uh, if you do a whole lot of them and you learn what AR does, which lightens up the tint and kind of plays with its color a little bit, you get good at it, well then by all means, sell AR. You're adding, you know, 90 something dollars to each sale. That's a good thing. But for those that are not familiar with it, don't understand what happens when you put an AR coat on a cosmetic tint, you might want to kind of sort of shy away from it. And then we have our sunglasses category. That's kind of anything that's a darker or of a deeper hue than 80%. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a plain old plastic lens tinted to a sunglass depth. Great stuff. Yeah, polarized is nice. It has its places, but it isn't required on every single job. You can also play with the depth of color on a non-polarized lens a whole lot easier than you can on a polarized. So don't shy away from just plain good old fashioned sunglasses. 99.9% .9 of the time when we think about generic sunglass kinds of stuff, we think of a solid, Every once in a while, you may come across a gradient and somebody might be doing something a little odd. They might have a special application. But for our use today, we're thinking solid. The three colors that are used, or four, I guess, <laughs> uh, gray, gray, black is the number one choice because it leaves things most natural in color. 
I'm going to repeat that, and we're going to do it again when we get to the bench. Gray is the most popular sunglass color because it leaves things out in the world their most natural color. That is the reason why we might guide someone away from a green, a brown, or perhaps a G15. Gray is a good thing. Back side AR, good thing. Front AR is just a no-go. Okay, that's never, should never happen on a sunglass. You do see it, you'll see people come in. Try not to snicker if you can do that. Uh, front side AR, no. Back side AR, yes. Words of warning, if you are working with a vision care plan, make absolutely certain that you remember to charge for the UV addition to your tent where it's appropriate. Your CR39 jobs. Your tint samples will probably follow your store. If you love tints and you sell them all the time and cosmetics are on the rise, you're going to have lunettes and sample glasses and your stack of lenses to show people. If you don't do them much, kind of shy away from them, it's not a thing in your store, well, then you might, like I do over here at the bench, have like eight samples to show your customer. I mentioned this in the video. It is worth mentioning again. You never, ever want to take a pair of glasses apart and put them back together any more than you have to. If you are getting in to show and tell, you're going in the back, putting the stuff in the tint tank, bringing them back out to your customer, showing them. They're saying, no, that's still too light or, oh, no, that's still too dark. I want a little bit more of this. Holding them up against that white background, do not put them into the frame and take them out, back into the frame, take them out. You're asking for trouble. Don't say I didn't warn you. Can't see the customer has just arrived. We'll get her settled at the bench and talk a little bit about tints. Well, surprise, surprise, can't see the customer has shown up right on time. How are you today? Good. It was a long day. It's kind of a long week. Yes. It's it only been. Thursday. It is only Thursday. Yes. Ugh. Today we are going to talk about tints. What do you think about that? It sounds good. They're good. fancy. All right. <laughs> Let's get to work. When you are discussing tints with your customer, because you already have watched the video about the process of tinting, she may say something like... My friend just got a new pair of glasses and she had them make the lenses like a light brown. Can you do that with these? Yeah, absolutely. You call it a cosmetic tint or a light tint. Were you thinking that color brown? No, hers was definitely lighter than that. Lighter than that. Something like that. Um, maybe like the top of that. Dark, yeah, that's closer. But, this color? but that color. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't have a sample of there. I've got a very small sample tray. So we would be doing a brown. solid brown. This and this would be what we call a one. Okay. So a brown one. Yeah. Solid. Perfect. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, yes, we can, in fact, do that. All right. Good. I'd say. So my friend got a new pair of glasses and she had them make the lenses. They were dark brown on the top and then they were lighter brown on the bottom. Can you do something with that? Absolutely. We call that a gradient and that's that right there. Were you thinking that dark? Mm, maybe a little bit lighter than yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Call that almost like a one and a half, almost okay. a two, so we'll go with a one. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Yeah. It was pretty... A, the color, but just not that dark. Okay, and we actually do our tinting in house, so we can actually play with this a little bit. When oh, you come awesome. pick them up, you say, nah, a little bit later, a little dark. We can oh, change it. Great. All right. She may say, I want my glasses to look exactly like these the tint, everything. So, can you do that? Yeah, um, we can. There are frames on the frame board that come from the factory, the manufacturer, with the cosmetic tint in the demo lenses. And people will often say, I want my glasses to look exactly like they do on the frame board. Now, a few words of warning here. You can usually get very, very close. If you tint in-house, you have the demo lenses as a guide. If not, you send the demo lenses along with the frame to the lab so they have something to work with. Now, what did she say? She said, I want them to look exactly. exactly like the ones on the board. Now this frame, for instance, says Moto on it. She may expect that lens to say Moto on it. Mm -hmm. Make sure she understands that it's not gonna say Moto on it. Can that be done? Yeah, kind of, but we're certainly not going to encourage it. We're gonna make it clear to her 
that it's not going to say that, we're just going to match that tint or the color that's in the lens, because it can come back in by chi on the bum. She may say... So I want to do something totally different with this. I love blue. <laughs> Everything. Blue. Right. So can we do a blue tint? We can. And oddly enough, when I ordered my tint samples, for some reason the lab sent me, of all things, a blue, a blue lens. Yeah. Were you thinking about that? Perfect. I love it. It would go with all different shades. <laughs> right. I love it. Um, darker, no, lighter, no. the same? Just like this. Just like this. Can you with the blue gradient one in your new glasses? That'd be perfect. We can do that. She may say. So what are my lens choices in a sunglass? Good question. Generally, you have four different colors as a choice in sunglasses. Gray is very popular because it leaves things natural in color. I'm wearing them, you look outside, reds are reds, blues are blues, greens are greens. That's why it's really popular. Okay. Next is brown, popular also. It tends to be a little bit lighter than the grays and people perceive it as having a higher contrast. Okay. After that, you have green, very traditional sunglass color, especially when tortoiseshell frames, brown frames. Looks really nice. Yeah. Good color also. Then at last, you have a G15, which is the pilot lens. It's a mix of green and gray. Okay. Uh, also a really nice choice for this frame, dark black. I and mean, I think the gray looks good. Yeah. Uh, let you be the judge of that. No, I think that... Yeah, I can't imagine it would be a different color. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would work for this frame. Yeah, I see I see gray in that yeah. one. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, fantastic. She may say... So, I find sunglasses too dark for me. But, you know, when I'm on the boat, everybody makes fun of me. My husband just bought in a ridiculous, expensive pair of sunglasses. Did he buy them here? Yes. It might even have been two because he likes a backup pair. So, but I prefer light. So can I just get light sunglasses? Absolutely. Uh, we call this, something like this, we call this an 80%. Okay. Right? Um, so that's even a better sample, either one of these. Okay. Right? Those are your 80s. You can go 70, 60, 50. It's really up to you. Okay. Because here's the thing. The depth of the color, the darkness of the lens, actually has nothing to do with the protection for your eyes. Oh. When you're out there on the boat, your friends are all thinking there's something to it when there isn't. UV protection in a pair of glasses either comes from the lens itself, the material the lens oh, is made okay. from, or a coating that's added in addition to the tint. So you can make yourself up a nice pair of 60%. You can still see where you're going when you get off the boat, when it's dusk, when your friends are stumbling around, and you'll have the same amount of protection. So sure. the answer is yes. yes. Then let's do it. Like right. something, yeah, like your 60. I, I like the idea of being able to see when it's dusk, because yeah. that's true. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we can play with it again. We do our tinting in-house. So if you come and say, even if you wear them for a couple of days okay. over the weekend, and come back and say, a little darker, a little lighter, I can do that. It's Perfect. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Gives me options. Yeah, okay. absolutely. She may say. So I read something or heard something from this guy on YouTube, and it was about tints and like non-glare coatings. What right. was that about? Guy on YouTube, huh? Mm -hmm. I think I know that guy. Mm -hmm. I'll bet I know exactly what he said, too. I bet he said that if you tint the lens and you add a non-glare coating, that the tint gets lighter and may actually change color a little yes, bit. that's true. And yeah. what he wanted to make sure that people understood, both the opticians and the consumers, is that once the AR coating is applied, you can't change anything. Oh, okay. So we have to kind of play a little bit and hedge our bets, go a little bit darker on the tint, then put on the AR coating. So there are no guarantees. Okay. So consumers out there, if you love the tint, you want to get a non-glare coating, great idea, non-glare good. I would encourage non-glare over the tint part. But if you have to do both, just be aware when the optician says, no guarantees, ma'am, I'm sorry. And then that's not something that they control all that much. She may say... So I thought I wanted the tint. Um, it looked good on my friend. My husband is not a fan, and mm -hmm. neither am I, actually. Ah, so, yeah. yeah. Can you remove it, please? Um, chances are really good. We didn't do the non-glare coating on that one. Oh, yeah. So chances are excellent that I can. Okay. Um, we just opened up. The tin tank isn't on yet. I need to build up a head of steam on that. Okay. Um, can you swing by on your way home tonight? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, I'll have them ready for you then. Okay. Worst case scenario, if they don't bleach out, then or neutralize out is actually what we do. Um, I'll just make another pair. 
That's okay, all. No big that's deal. good. I just, yeah. no tint. Yep, easy enough. Okay. She may say. So I love this new pair. Um, and the doctor said my powers didn't change that much. So could I use my old pair for sunglasses? Let's take a look at those. Okay. Maybe. I'm going to take a look at her old glasses. And chances are really good if it's a clear pair that the answer is You've got the non-glare coating on there. We can't tint over that. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Years ago, we used to do this all the time. It was almost common practice. But once ARs became popular, we don't really do it much anymore. Okay. That's fine. I may look at them and I may say, we don't have an AR coating on here. Those lenses actually look like they're in really good shape. I mean, I'll give it a shot for you. Absolutely. Can you swing by on your way home after work? Oh, yeah. That'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. And did we want to do the gray... A gray lens, yes, brown, the gray. gray. Yeah, we'll the just blue, stay with think, the gray. Yeah, I think the gray yeah. will look pretty good there. Perfect. So, right? I may look at these lenses and think, oh my God, they're so chewed up. Um, you know, you see all the scratching, especially this big one over here oh, on the yeah. side. I like to drop my glasses. Yeah, the tint's going to go to those areas oh, okay. a little bit heavier. A little, yeah. it'll look, you know, you'll see it. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to strictly knock around pair, I mean, like literally for like the gardening bench or something, I'll be happy to throw them in the mm -hmm. tin tank. You can pick them up this afternoon. Um, but as far as like a dress pair or replacing something, not so much. Entirely your call. Well, I actually love the idea of having a gardening pair because... Mm -hmm. I like to drop my glasses. So yeah, that yeah. probably would be good to have like okay. a bum around pair and then we'll just make a, a new pair for the other ones. Perfect. Okay. All right, we'll do that. And like I say, just swing on by on your way home and I'll have it ready for you. Okay, sounds good. good. You may be getting tired of hearing this, but well, too bad. <laughs> Newbies, we cannot tell you what to say. We cannot cover every possible scenario, but we just did one heck of a good job, I think. Talking about tints, we are giving you the language, doing the role play so that you can build your own presentation skill set. Good job. Thanks. Octopus! An ice unicycle! Come on, Jaina. It's up to us to stop those aliens. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please do give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Really helps us out and make certain that every lens that you do put a tint on or don't comes from Laramie K. I'll see you again next week. Because you put the air time, the anti, the, 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 yeah, okay. Let's try, try that again. Try that one again. All right.